Okay, now we want to get right back to that breaking news. A remarkable story is unfolding right now in Thailand as people from across the world watch with bated breath. So I just heard in my ear, I just told you two boys rescued. Just heard now it's four boys that have been rescued from that cave. The medical team outside the cave says the boys are in good health. Today, President Trump is defending his son's 2016 meeting at Trump Tower with a Russian attorney to get dirt on his then opponent, Hillary Clinton. He took to Twitter today saying the meeting was totally legal and once again calling the media the enemy of the people. NBC's Jennifer Johnson has the latest from Washington. I'm Savannah Levins alongside meteorologist Chris Mulcahy. Chris, I was driving to work this morning and I passed the Charlotte skyline and I couldn't see it. I'm yeah. like, where is it? Because of all the rain and fog, it's just, blah, yeah. when does this go away? No. <laughs> An incredible new video tonight as thieves use a stolen pickup truck as a battering ram, basically smashing it right through the front doors of a store. This video is just crazy. As those shots ring out, and we do have video that we're about to show you. Before we do, I want to let you know it's very disturbing. It's hard to listen to. You can hear the gunshots. You can hear students screaming. The reason we want to show it is because it's sometimes easy to disassociate your yourself from things like that since we're in North Carolina. This is in Florida, but uh, we feel it's important to really bring home just how uniquely horrific this situation was. Take a look. And here's one way to welcome the new year, maybe. <laughs> I already ate this, cozying up to a professional cuddler. This has creeped her out for the last two commercial breaks. Requests for so-called cuddlists, as they are called, are actually on the rise. The co-founder of Cuddlist.com says business has actually gone up 50% just this year. Mm -hmm. Yep, he says last year his professionals got 60 requests for New Year's Eve. This year, he's up to 90 with requests still coming in right now. Men between 40 and 60 are <laughs> the biggest customers. Holidays are a popular time, they say, because people are just missing a human connection. Cuddlist.com has 146 practitioners across the country, including, yes, right here in North Carolina, if you need to cuddle. They usually charge about 80 bucks an hour. 80 bucks an hour just to, just to lay next to somebody. Like enough. <laughs> Breaking right now at 6, officials are investigating after an officer involved shooting in Iredell County that injured one person. This happened late last night on Tall Oak Drive in the Lake Norman area. Officials tell us a deputy was responding to a domestic call when she shot a man in the stomach. Thank you for watching NBC Charlotte at 6. I'm Savannah Levins. We're going to go right out to Rachel Lundberg joining us live tonight with the latest on the investigation. Rachel, you just learned some new information. What can you tell us? A massive heat wave in Europe is sparking wildfires. More than 700 firefighters from Spain and Portugal are working together to contain the fire near their shared border that's destroying homes and cars. And it was a disappointing loss for our Carolina Panthers today that came down to the final seconds. The Seattle Seahawks beating the Panthers 32-27 in a game-winning field goal. NBC Charlotte Sports Director Nick Carboni joining us live from Bank of America Stadium. Nick and I'm Savannah Levins. We want to show you some video just into our newsroom. This is from Hickory. Started raining there about an hour and a half ago and as the temperature drops it could make for some very slick conditions on the roads there we're gonna check in with our crew and we are following a developing story tonight a deadly lion attack at a wildlife conservatory in North Carolina is under investigation the victim an intern who just started working there less than two weeks ago here's NBC's Gabe Gutierrez with the update well you do have just a few hours left to take advantage of tax-free weekend in South Carolina this is perfect for anyone who hasn't done their back to school shopping yet no judgment if you've been putting it off and NBC Charlotte's Ruby Durham caught up with parents who are saving a lot of money this weekend. So, but as, of course, as uh, news anchors, we can't be biased. So just really, I hope the best team wins. I think everyone's going to have a great time. It says Rams. Does it say Rams? I feel like we need to be balanced. That is Look true. You. Yeah, what do you mean we're balanced? I've been wearing this the whole <laughs> morning. And one day after those murders, Salisbury police want to show the community they have zero tolerance for crime. Tonight, the department kicked off National Night Out. NBC Charlotte's Kenna Mora shows us how events like this are bringing the community and law enforcement together. The surfs, surfs pop <laughs> where the waves rough. You know what? Are they doggy paddling. Is that too far fetched? Okay, <laughs> no, I'm, like okay that I'm, I'm sorry. All right. They're doing <laughs> much better than I would have ever done. So let's just I say wrote that. them all. I wrote them all in the prompter. How's the weekend going to be? Aisha? You know what? Not a bad day 